In my last video, I talked about Korea's first Fire Emblem game, that being Fire Emblem Fates. It was then that I received a comment interested in seeing which Fire Emblem games were the first in other regions of the world, China being the one I was personally most interested in finding out. What started out as a quick Google search to answer a comment quickly led me down a rabbit hole into China's history of console games, Fire Emblem, and the ways Nintendo managed to bring video games into China. Hello everyone, Lunar Dave here. Today, I want to talk a little bit about China's history with Fire Emblem and especially how Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, almost came to China before the West. To begin, it's important to know that China banned console games during the 2000s out of concern for children getting addicted to video games. This led Nintendo to partner up with companies like IQ and much later Tencent in order to be able to release video games in mainland China. The way video games are allowed to be sold in China, as I understand it, needs to go through an approval process, and usually if the game matches or complies with any changes China requests, the game will be approved to be sold in China. But with that said, which Fire Emblem was the first game to release in China? None! That's right, there have been zero actual official Fire Emblem game releases in China. When I did that initial Google search, Shadows of Lentia was the result that popped up and for that time of day when I looked it up, I thought that was the end of it and typed the reply away. But looking closer revealed to me that it's simply the first Fire Emblem game localized in the Chinese language. And of course was a language option for the Japanese copies for the 3DS and is incompatible with the IQ 3DS. Yeah about that. Some of you may be familiar with the IQ player. If you aren't though, the IQ player essentially was a size down Nintendo 64 with a select few games. However, it turns out IQ partnered more with Nintendo to release handhelds in mainland China from the GBA all the way to the 3DS, where Tencent has since taken up the partnership with the Nintendo Switch. The first handheld IQ released was the Game Boy Advance, which as it turns out, had Fire Emblem The Binding Blade nearly fully translated and sent to the Chinese government for approval. And it actually was fully approved, with it going by the title Fire Emblem, exactly like how the West had Fire Emblem The Blazing Sword be titled simply as Fire Emblem. However, due to piracy being extremely rampant in the Chinese black market, with bootlegs and imports being very common for people to get their hands on console games, FE6's release was unfortunately cancelled along with many other GBA titles. Fire Emblem 7 did file a copyright registration for approval, but the details of this localization as far as I'm aware is unknown. With that in mind, what does the localized version of FE6 look like? Well, thankfully I managed to grab a copy of the prototype used for approval that was dumped online in 2019, and what I found was this translation had a lot more work put into it than I suspected. The first notable localization change is that the title screen's language is in Chinese, unlike pretty much any other localized version in the Chinese language for Fire Emblem that I'm personally aware of. This also includes the player and enemy phase, which generally goes unchanged in the GBA Fire Emblem localizations. As for how far along the translation has gotten, it seems aside from a few bugs here and there, the translation was done all the way till the end of the game, meaning it was practically finished after getting approved. But since I cannot read the Chinese language, I won't be able to show any interesting translations of the names and such. But that said, I already mentioned Shadows of Lentia being the first officially translated for Chinese regions, and it should go without saying that Fire Emblem Heroes, Three Houses, and Engage got their own translations, with Three Houses in particular getting a fair bit of marketing even getting its own advertisement on a bus in Taiwan city of Taipei. I mentioned earlier how piracy and importing was super popular in China, which is how most Chinese communities enjoy and play Fire Emblem. But besides the officially translated ones, there has actually been a few bootleg Fire Emblem games made and brought to China for the black market. Many will talk about the bootleg Chinese Game Boy Color Fire Emblem game, which is mostly original and has interesting mechanics such as how each level up giving you essentially skill points to level up any particular stat you want to choose. But I doubt many of you are actually aware of the fact that Fire Emblem Gaiden got fully ported over to the Game Boy Color for some reason? Apparently there is just a regular Famicom version fan translated and bootlegged to China as well, but I guess for some wild reason they decided, hey, let's just fully port a Famicom game into the Game Boy Color. If you're gonna tell, a lot of stuff like this shows up in China and it seems the community is 
very dedicated to importing, translating, and playing the Fire Emblem titles. And to be honest, to see a very dedicated group of people even doing half the stuff that's been done, and the efforts they take to play a game that legally cannot be sold regularly in mainland China is just really impressive to see. This was actually really hard to research as I had very little knowledge of Chinese Fire Emblem, but it was thanks to the information I received from the Twitter account Chinese Nintendo that I was able to produce this video at all. I would also like to thank Actual Lizard for providing the footage for this video. I don't have a big library of footage for FE content besides Engage and Fates, so I very appreciate his help as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, but also if you noticed any errors, don't be afraid to comment down below and I'll update a pinned comment with corrections as the information on this topic was super sparse. But regardless, I guess I'll be seeing you guys sometime soon. Might be a 